What is up ladies and gentlemen, King's Reaper here and we are back with another episode of playthrough. In the last episode, I kind of pursued the Punisher part 2 and this episode I started off by completing first quest for mechanic. So first things first, we need that shotgun. Let's go ahead and buy one or no. Then I had to mod this shotgun to the specs the way mechanic wanted it and after modding the shotgun I went ahead and assembled it the easy way and then turned the shotgun into the quest so after completing this quest we immediately get the part 2 of the gunsmith when we get another important quest which is finding the Jaeger's camp this fat boy was sitting somewhere in the woods let uh, left one letter there for us to find and yeah so after we get the letter we would unlock Jaeger as a traitor so what do we do now well let's go straight into woods find that letter and unlock Jaeger as a traitor and start doing quests for him as well so our first raid on the woods I spawned on the southern side and went immediately for the letter which is located under this shack or hunting's house or whatever. And of course there's a squad of people rushing me right now. Thankfully they went off, they didn't notice me. And they don't die to my first shot. Wonderful. So after trying to peek them, they were hiding behind the trees and rocks, I decided to flank. And on this flank, they started pushing again. So that was one of them. And this was probably the worst idea ever, to stick with this rock, because they would keep pushing and looking for me. I should have gone further away. And whoa, there goes one dude. For some reason, he doesn't die either. So, yeah, just my luck. At this point... I was pretty much pinned. They knew I was under the rock. There was at least two of them, maybe more. And they were looking for me, so... I couldn't do much. I was just listening to how they are walking above me, walking around me. Hoping that I would catch them, trying to flank me before they catch me. But this is how the raid played out in the end. The dude started flanking on the right and confused me with the bush, so I, by the time I turned to the left, the dude was already on me and killed me. So yeah, that was one unsuccessful raid, so unfortunately I had to go once again into woods to get that letter, because if you don't extract successfully, uh, you lose the quest item, so you have to go again. So this time we, I picked the Mosin that I got from some dude in the raid, and went for the letter once again. Now, the woods is pretty much sniping map all the way around, so... Yeah. Upon spawning, I knew that I was at the end of the map and there could be potentially another player spawn pretty much right in front of me. So I slowly pushed forwards just to see if there is someone across the road or no. And boy oh boy, there he was. So after an easy shot, I went to loot his body, checked if he's alone or no, but he was obviously alone. So yeah, I took all his part and went immediately for the camp where the letter is. On my way there I didn't find any action, nobody was here sitting looking at me, trying to camp me, so yeah, just picked up the letter. After which we went for the exit and I extracted successfully on the end of the map. So finally we had the letter, I didn't want to go woods again, I had to pursue still the Punisher questline, 
So after organizing my inventory once again, getting the items that I need for the quest, I went on and turned in the letter. After turning the letter, Mr. Jaeger was ready to give me some tasks. He was very, very hungry. And that's why I was saving all that food for him. But I still needed a lot more. So he needed some flash drives later and he needed some food. So instead of serving his will, I decided to serve my own. So it was another raid on customs because we had to kill many many scavs for the Punisher part 3 quest. And I noticed the sniper scav was up. But so he noticed me as well. And of course he immediately gives me a bleed, a broken arm, wonderful. A few meters later there was another scav waiting for me. Anyways, we went on, I pushed towards the extract and luckily the roadblock was open. So after the initial raid where I had only two scav kills, I fixed myself up, got the same gear as the last raid and went into another raid on customs where I still needed to kill 23 more scavs. So I spawned at the shore and pushed across the road. And the scavs were already there, waiting. So it was time to push this scav. He seemed a bit stuck into in this fence. I decided to take my time, slowly push him. There's no rush, we got all the time in the world. Oh, there was somebody else there. That is something I did not expect, and neither did I expect that guy to push behind the van. Okay. That UN Jeep or whatever it is. Wow, nice. Make sure he's dead. Okay, perfect. He was dead, but there was at least one guy across that wall. And he heard me shooting, he knew I was here as well as I knew he was there. So, what did I decide to do is to wait him out, because I knew he would get too nervous, too impatient, he would eventually push out and try to find me, try to see what happened here, kill me potentially. So, I waited. And I quickly realized he was not alone. He was actually there with somebody else, so it was a squad. And then decided to push they decided to push out to look for me and this is where bushes can play a lot of difference look this gay just this 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 gay just ran next to me and didn't even see me Now that's how you're supposed to shoot. From now on, that's how you shoot. Ooh, that was fun. Two more guys dead. Nice. They seemed geared as well. So I reloaded my mags first, since that's kind of more important right now. Because if somebody comes around as well, I'll be straight dead because I won't have any bullets to shoot. So after repacking my mags. It was time to check what they had, and boy, oh boy, were they loaded! Man, slick armor, good helmets, like, good ammo in, in the guns, oh, oh boy, man, man, this was one of the best raids so far. So they were quite loaded, they had SKSs, RPKs, this was insane. So I loaded everything that I could... And uh, it was time to decide, what am I going to take with me? Am I going to take the Slick or the M4 Rig? So after consideration of what to take, I decided Slick was better and more important, more valuable item. So I took that and went on killing Scavs again. Finally. 
Finally! So after killing that scav, I slowly started pushing towards the extract and then I used the extract near the dorms where you have to pay I think 7000 rubles in order for the for vehicle to take you out. This raid was again pretty much PvP focused even though I wanted scavs but regardless we went into another raid for those scav kills so again customs and it was time to kill a lot of scabs. So I immediately pushed across the river. Only to find one scab already there. But he refused to die. After killing him, found the sniper scab. Then I found another scab here. So we moved behind the bush, shoot him once to make him come back. And then there was a player who heard his shots and decided to push. And that's what happens when you push aggressively with a handgun alone. So Unfortunately for that guy, he just died. He couldn't do anything, he was done for. And I pursued to kill some more scabs. So, this raid was going very well so far. I was killing scabs left and right, front and back. They were just coming in like, like, like cakes, like cakes, yeah, it's just the cherry on the top. So this is all in the same location, I'm just killing scabs one after another. This one got away a little bit, so for some reason he didn't die immediately at the first burst. He hid behind the wall, so... I decided to push him slowly and kill that scav as well. He didn't move at all so I was a bit confused but I was too curious to not... Oh, there! Oh, there he was! There he was, started moving slowly. Okay. And so that scav was killed as well. So after doing uh, some massacre on scavs in this area, it was time to push towards the exit and I found yet another scav. Finally killed him and then pushed for the exit. Luckily, I was able to extract successfully. So that was end of another raid and still not enough, even though I killed 10 or 11 scavs in this raid I had to go into another raid again because we needed in total 25 scav kills on customs. So I loaded into the raid, I went for the office in Big Red when somebody started pushing as well towards the office. Got to kill him, and that was some major lag, I'm not sure was it on my end or his end or server, but luckily I did kill that guy, he had decent painkillers, and it was time to move out of the spawning area and again across the river to kill some more scavs. And that was one quest done, but not the one we were chasing. So that was two scavs in the same spot. Nice. After moving forwards a little bit, I found another scav. And his buddy was lurking also from the back. Then his buddy started pushing around as well. So, nicely done, three scav kills. 
Another one on my way towards the extract. Beautiful. I was doing very well when it comes to scavs. So after killing all of those scavs, I was going for the exit and then... Yeah, wonderful. You don't get to hear where the sounds of gun are coming from immediately because the steam audio is very weird. Like sometimes you just can't determine where people are. And that's what happened there, so that was one quest done. So we turned in the 25 scav kill quest. So after turning that quest in, unfortunately something bad happened. So the footage from the next day that I recorded got completely corrupted due to the fact that my computer lagged so bad that I had to manually restart it. So none of that footage you'll be able to see even though I went into raids to get some more scavs. But anyway, the next day I decided to do the quest with a handgun and this is how it went. So, yes, unfortunately we still didn't get to do the quest completely, but we had two kills out of three. So, I had, so in the next episode I'll still be trying to get some more kills. But anyways guys, this will be it for this episode, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications button to get notified when I push out the next episode. Thanks and I'll see you next time.